memory of rainy afternoons, swingy Harlem tunes, motor trips and burning lips and burning toast and prunes. How lovely it was. Thanks for the memory of candlelight and wine, castles on the Rhine, the Parthenon, and moments on the Hudson River line. How lovely it was. Many's the time that we feasted. And many the time that we fasted. Oh, well, it was swell while it lasted. We did have fun and no harm done. So thanks for the memory of crap games on the floor. Nights in Singapore. You might have been a headache but you never were born. I thank you so much. Les, well, that's our show for tonight, ladies and gentlemen, my road to Hollywood. Needless to say, for me, it was an exciting and nostalgic journey, but it wouldn't have been half as much fun without you alone to share it. And who could have asked for a more charming and talented group of guest stars to provide so many delightful stops along the way? My sincere thanks to each of them and to all the great writers, producers, directors, and everyone behind the movie camera whose enthusiasm and creativity made my road to Hollywood so deeply satisfying, so rewarding, and so darn much fun. I don't have to tell you that I couldn't be prouder to be a part of this marvelous industry, for the language of motion pictures is a universal one, not only able to cross international boundaries, but to erase them. When seen throughout the world, America's movies provide an accurate reflection of our customs, our attitudes, and our dreams. The best of them speak for each and every one of us in a voice that says more about our way of life than any goodwill ambassador ever could. To have been afforded the opportunity of carrying that message to the far reaches of the globe is a privilege for which I am ever grateful. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good night.